Dear citizens of the world, as you may know, we have a critical situation happening right now on the earth. Actions have been implemented by a small power hungry and greedy elite group towards the total domination of earth and the destruction of the majority of its people. This heinous plan has now escalated to a heightened level. Time is of the essence to stop this plan as we are at a critical juncture in our history and evolution. We only have two choices now. We must either decide to save this world and its people by taking non-aggressive action immediately or be totally dominated and destroyed as a species. We have a short window of time. What choice will you make? We must work quickly to save this world and its children from further commercial tyranny or we may not have a future. Helping those who are suffering and freeing those in commercial bondage around the world is the most important mission in life. There is a great awakening taking place on the earth right now as good citizens around the world have decided to take their lives back. Global revolution is occurring in all major cities around the world. A new earth is being born right now as the old systems of the harmful corporate matrix are dissolving. We must work together to create a better world. Here are some ideas on how this can be done. First of all, know that you are the one who has to save this earth and its people. You have to decide now if this mission is important enough to you or if you will just watch others do it. We have to wake up to the truth ourselves and help others wake up. We cannot waste time and we cannot be distracted from this mission in any way. We must choose non-participation in the current harmful system as it needs our cooperation to survive. We must all engage in non-violent civil protests and passive resistance as best demonstrated by the Occupy movement. We must not stop, give up or give in to fear. We must feel and show love and peace and we cannot feel hate or negativity because what we give out, we will surely get back. We must work towards critical mass unity. Large groups of people affect change faster. We must continue to use the power of the internet such as live video streams and social media to blast our messages everywhere over and over to create the mass awareness required. If your community's occupation is unlawfully evicted, keep moving and reoccupy. It is time now for all of us to come together. It is time for us to become more than what we already are. We all have a problem with our world and the only way to fix it is to join together and become too big to fail. The 99% in solidarity with the Occupy movement as a whole can accomplish anything. What may seem impossible becomes possible with the help of your peers, governments and our economic systems. We will no longer do as we are told. We will no longer help build up the powers that want to push us down. It is time for us to start thinking for ourselves instead of following orders from those who only think about themselves. The strongest part of a pyramid starts from the bottom up. We are the structure that holds the system together. We the people as a whole decide our future. Changing the world starts with changing ourselves and we are ready to do that. We invite you to join with us. Every day we are learning from one another and creating the changes that will become our evolution. We want to hear from you. You are smart. You are educated. You are a great individual with a mind of your own and opinions that greatly matter to this movement. The reasons to occupy continue to grow every day. Our natural rights are being violated every day more and more as these dark powers attempt to control everything on Earth. One critical matter that stands out right now in the U.S. is the National Defense Authorization Act. While we believe it is important to keep our land and people safe, these tyrannical laws create oppression in the name of freedom. We must work together to block Section 1031 of this bill as it violates the Posse Comitatus Act and would allow federal military personnel to engage in domestic law enforcement. This is profoundly unconstitutional and can create a martial law situation here in our homeland. 
We must also keep the internet uncensored and free as the powers that be are working to use SOPA and the Protect IP bill to fully control the World Wide Web. The internet belongs to all the people of the Earth. We are also changing the way we look at politics and our banking systems. 10 top U.S. banks illegally foreclosed on nearly 5,000 active duty U.S. military members. Our fellow Americans are being physically attacked by police brutality actions across the nation for peacefully demonstrating their First Amendment rights which the police and military both swore an oath to the Constitution to protect. The Federal Reserve has printed over $15 trillion to bail out a banking system that has failed. This is an unfair and unforgivable act against the people who worked very hard for their wages and did not see an increase in those wages to compensate for this inflation. You will not get bailed out if your business fails so why should irresponsible management of the banks be rewarded with a bailout? This $15 trillion bailout is more than our total national debt. This $15 trillion bailout is more than our total gross domestic product. Why should we suffer a $15 trillion inflation for someone else's business failures? The FDIC ensures our deposits so when these banks fail we the people who worked hard for our money will be covered. The large banks should have been allowed to fail and the smaller banks and credit unions should have been allowed to gain the business from the citizens for responsibly handling the finances of their members. It is time for us to end the printing of fiat currency and as long as the Federal Reserve continues to print our dollar we the people will suffer the consequences of that act. We see no increase in our wages, but we see an increase in all things we require to survive food, gas, rent, and student tuition. How can one afford to live and go to college with the increase of these costs? People have no choice but to take student loans to survive while they gain the proper education to succeed in life. Yet once the education is over there are few jobs available for one to start to pay off these loans. People are finding themselves working the same job as they were while attending college when they graduate with more debt and more financial responsibilities than before with these loans to pay back. Furthermore these loans can no longer be dismissed from filing bankruptcy. Once you start down the road to a debt-free life you are stuck in a life full of debt. No longer will we sit by and allow this to happen to the people of the world. It is time to join together and occupy. What has the Occupy movement accomplished so far? Besides educating millions on the greed, selfishness, and corruption in our government and banking institutions we have created Bank Transfer Day which was a consumer activism initiative calling for a voluntary switch from commercial banks to not-for-profit credit unions by November 5, 2011. As of November 30, 2011 over $8 billion has been taken from the big banks. The Occupy movement also worked together to protest the Oakland Seaport. In this commercial world, money is more important than people. Nearly 10,000 people marched on the port of Oakland the afternoon of November 2, clogging the entrances and roadways. Demonstrators shut down operations at the port of Oakland one of the largest container ports in the United States. This shutdown contributed to showing the power of the people and that the greed of the 1% will no longer be tolerated. What does the Occupy Movement have planned next? The Occupy Movement has planned for another general strike to shut down all ports of the West Coast on December 12, 2011. Join us for this day at protest. The Occupy Movement has also planned Balanced Transfer Day for December 11, 2011. The objective of the movement is to get credit card holders to transfer their outstanding debts from high interest credit cards to cards with zero interest rates and zero balance transfer fees issued by credit unions and small community banks. Join us in this action, in all other future Occupy actions and join us at your next local General Assembly. Let's continue with our progress and occupy our planet. Together we will create a better world for all. Anonymous is the 99%.